Warren Buffett sold one of his biggest stocks. Welcome to the captivating world of Warren Buffett's strategic investments. In this financial odyssey, we're going to unravel the intriguing story of Warren Buffett's latest move in the stock market, showcasing his legendary investment prowess. Today, we'll venture into the realm of Apple's meteoric rise within Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio, where one tech giant has come to dominate the landscape. Warren Buffett, the legendary investor, has made some intriguing moves in his recent 13F filing. One of the most notable changes is his decision to sell his stake in Activision Blizzard. Buffett initially invested in the company after Microsoft's acquisition announcement, viewing it as a potentially lucrative arbitrage play. If the acquisition went through, there was a significant upside. However, as regulatory hurdles mounted, Buffett decided to exit, selling 70% of Berkshire Hathaway's Activision shares. But here's the twist. While Buffett exited, Berkshire Hathaway still holds some Activision shares. This highlights the involvement of Ted and Todd, who manage portions of Berkshire's portfolio. They initially bought Activision shares before the Microsoft announcement, and they continued to hold onto them. Buffett's move in the oil sector also caught attention. Despite misconceptions, he clarified that these investments don't reflect his predictions about oil prices. Rather, he seeks value in these companies. Chevron and Occidental Petroleum are among his key holdings. Furthermore, Berkshire Hathaway's investment in Apple has grown significantly, making up over 50% of its US stock portfolio. So while Buffett's recent moves may raise questions, it's essential to remember the broader context of Berkshire's diverse business interests. One of the headline-grabbing shifts in his recent 13F filing was the decision to part ways with Activision Blizzard. The story began in Q1 of 2022, when Microsoft announced its intentions to acquire the gaming giant. At that time, Buffett saw an opportunity. Not in the gaming industry itself, but in the potential windfall if the acquisition went through. Microsoft's proposal to purchase Activision at $95 per share was a game-changer. It transformed Activision shares into a different type of security, one dependent on a corporate event, not market fluctuations. This setup offered a tantalizing 17% upside if the deal materialized. Buffett saw it as a chance to make a substantial amount of profit on a straightforward acquisition. However, as the regulatory landscape grew increasingly complex with both the FTC and the UK's competition and market authorities scrutinizing the deal, Buffett sensed the shifting tides. His 13F filing for Q2 revealed that he had decided to sell 70% of Berkshire Hathaway's Activision shares, signaling a significant change in his outlook. But there's a captivating twist in this tale. Berkshire Hathaway still retained some Activision shares. This intriguing duality suggests that Ted and Todd, the other key players managing Berkshire's portfolio, might have had a different perspective on the investment, having initiated it before Microsoft's announcement. What's truly remarkable is that Buffett's exit from the Activision position wasn't as turbulent as one might expect. If we trace back to when he initially bought into the company after Microsoft's news, the stock was trading at around $80 per share. Even amid regulatory turbulence, the stock's lowest point in Q2 was approximately $76 per share. This intriguing spread between the purchase price and the proposed acquisition price acted as a buffer, allowing Buffett to navigate the situation relatively unscathed. In hindsight, Buffett's decision to exit the Activision position might not imply doom for Microsoft Activision merger. Buffett tends to exit when uncertainty looms, and his departure may not necessarily reflect a negative outlook. Since his exit, the market has actually grown more confident in the merger, with Activision shares closing in on the $95 offer price from Microsoft. So while Warren Buffett's moves continue to captivate the financial world, it's crucial to remember that his portfolio's composition is just one facet of Berkshire Hathaway's diverse business empire. Let's now delve into the other noteworthy shifts within Warren Buffett's recent 13F filing. Beyond the Activision Blizzard saga, there are more intriguing developments in Berkshire Hathaway's investment landscape. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. It's just a click away. Now back to exploring Warren Buffett's investment world. One standout move is the reduction of Berkshire's holdings in Chevron by 7%. This decision carries significant weight, given that the Chevron position accounts for approximately $20 billion. This reduction might raise eyebrows because Buffett typically doesn't trim positions lightly. It could be attributed to factors like tax management or the pragmatic decision to secure profits. It's worth recalling that Buffett heavily invested in Chevron in Q1 of the previous year, and since then, the stock has risen by around 25%. Another oil-related move is Berkshire's continued buying spree of Occidental Petroleum, affectionately known as Oxy. This is no fleeting interest. Berkshire has been acquiring Oxy shares in five out of the last six quarters. 
Remarkably, Berkshire now owns over 25% of the entire company. This move isn't solely motivated by a bet on rising oil prices. Buffett clarified that they consider these companies as good value investments at their current prices. In the financial sector, Berkshire increased its stake in Capital One Financial by 25%. This indicates a continued belief in the financial industry's potential, despite the ever-evolving economic landscape. On the other hand, Berkshire reduced its holdings in Selenese by 39% and halved its position in General Motors, suggesting some adjustments within the portfolio. Furthermore, there were some notable exits. Berkshire Hathaway bid adieu to McKesson, Marsh & McLennan, and Verative Energy. These departures signal a shift in focus or a strategic relocation of resources. On the flip side, Berkshire initiated positions in three new stocks, DR Horton, NVR, and Lena Corp. However, these new positions are relatively modest in size when viewed within the broader context of Berkshire's portfolio. For instance, DR Horton represents only 0.21% of the entire Berkshire portfolio, highlighting the relative insignificance of these new investments. Now let us delve into another facet of Warren Buffett's recent investment decisions, his position in Apple. It's a milestone that deserves attention. Since 2016, Apple has grown so significantly that it now represents over 50% of Berkshire Hathaway's US stock portfolio. This domination is visually striking when you look at the portfolio pie charts. To put this into perspective, the next largest holding in the portfolio is Bank of America at 8.51%. This remarkable concentration in a single stock might raise concerns among some investors. However, it's crucial to keep in mind the broader picture of Berkshire's diversified business empire. Berkshire Hathaway is not solely reliant on its stock portfolio. It boasts a vast array of businesses, including insurance, railroads, energy and more. Apple's substantial presence in the portfolio is indeed significant. But it's just one facet of Berkshire's multifaceted operations. Buffett's long-term investment strategy has always emphasized quality companies with enduring competitive advantages. Apple fits that mold perfectly, and its remarkable growth has certainly paid off for Berkshire Hathaway. So while Apple's dominance in the portfolio may appear staggering, it's merely a reflection of one of Buffett's most successful investments within his extensive and diverse business conglomerate. Berkshire Hathaway isn't a one-trick pony. It's a sprawling conglomerate with a diverse set of businesses under its wing. These encompass everything from insurance and railroads to energy and tech investments. So while Apple's prominence within the portfolio is undeniable, it's but one star in a constellation of ventures. Warren Buffett's investment acumen has long been centered around identifying exceptional companies with enduring competitive advantages. Apple checks all the boxes for him, and its astonishing growth has handsomely rewarded Berkshire Hathaway. This remarkable journey underscores not only the power of smart investments, but also the wisdom of a diversified business strategy. So as we marvel at Apple's colossal presence in Buffett's portfolio, remember just one thread in the rich tapestry of Berkshire Hathaway's diverse and successful enterprise. In conclusion, while the financial world closely watches Warren Buffett's every move, it's important to remember that these adjustments within Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio are just one piece of the puzzle. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Warren Buffett's investment strategies. If you found this video informative and engaging, be sure to check out more insightful content on our channel. So, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, remember to press the bell notification icon to never miss an upload from us. We look forward to having you with us on future financial explorations. Until next time, happy investing!